Hello guys, welcome back, welcome back for another job and therefore of course another trailer. Uh, welcome to Thursday, it's 10.40 in the morning, still morning so uh, that's always good. Um, I did not have to sleep last job, I slept very late and we finished the trailer in 2 hours after that so I can go for 11 hours more. Uh, I fueled up also, uh, damage to the truck is only 2% so that's gonna be okay. Uh, I'm hoping from now on I can do good jobs again, you know, no tickets, no problems, no accidents, no weird things, so I have to be a little bit more careful. The trailer is 10 kilometers away, so let's jump in, and you guys can join me. Take a seat, and of course, custom made, Peter built, 351, yours? Base price 90,000 euros. If you want the tires, 3,000 extra. If you want the 950 horsepower, another 21,000 extra. <laughs> if you want this beautiful, beautiful skin, only one euro. Yes, that's right. Uh, that's, you know. If you spend 100,000, you get the paint job for one euro. So I took it. I took many paint jobs. I have already three uh, more waiting for you guys. I downloaded even two more uh, in the colors of uh, caterpillar, orange and black, and then not the normal, but oh, they were, but they don't work. So I guess they're still for the older version or for another truck. But oh, what a paint job! But you know, sometimes it happens. I uh, I get paint jobs, of course, uh, from the side where they do skins. For this uh, truck and for the Kendra 579, I think, or no, for two Peter builds. Sorry, uh, there are. Yeah, I never heard of them. So. I did not know there was a Peter build, Peter build 351 and a Peter build 378. Income 4,700. There's the death. I did not even start my job, so thank you, girl. Straight on, yeah. Okay. Wow, I think I never picked up. Oh, of course, I picked up the job here. Don't be crazy. Attractable? What are we hauling here? Oh, just a normal trailer. Eh? That's no problem. Oh, of course, it's the first one. I was hoping for the outside one, of course. No, Mr. Kruger. You there with the scary name, you're gonna get that one. It's no problem, of course. Look at this, like a pro, man. Like a pro. Uh, beautiful color combination, of course, white and white. Let's take a looky. Slowly go over that safety, speed, the rumble, stripe, thingy, trample, or curve, how do you call it? Bump. Yeah, it's a box trailer, double X, look at that. Oh, hey guys. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going really good there. You had a little accident with a container with the cranes. You're now discussing who's following this. I can understand that. Dude! <laughs> Let's take a look at the papers. They're not waving to me, so, you know, then I. Uh, what can I do? We have 20 tons of column, we're going to Reading, do snow farms wants it. I'm gonna get paid 15,900 euros for a trip of 788 guys, it's a real job. Third job of the day, the first two were only 500 kilometers, so yeah. Am I gonna go? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go. That's okay. Being a little bit aggressive sometimes, you know, you have to be. Well, in this game, believe me, if I was uh, a truck driver on, on a beautiful truck like this, no way I would do that, of course. Uh, first of all, my first day would be hell for me. Really, you know. If I uh, stepped into the truck, man, I would be, I'm sorry to say, but I would be so excited, I would be having an orgasm already. Uh, <laughs> I mean, look at this truck, man, it's beautiful. But you know, I'm also, of course, going to be very nervous. And 
then because you want to do such a good job, the problem is you're gonna make mistakes, you know. Uh, if you're loose, you know, if you think like, oh, it's gonna be okay, you're probably gonna be okay. Uh, I would be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, uh, no accidents, don't, you know, and then because you're in that mindset, probably something is gonna happen. <sighs> but I'm a very nervous person. Um, especially with expensive things <laughs> so you know my thought would be oh my god don't hit anything or else you know I'm screwed yeah you know. and like I said sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not another income for five okay that happened did that really happen or I want to say let's forget it, but uh, you all saw it, so that's going to be uh, difficult to say. Yes. Just gonna let me in. Thank you. I looked uh, one second away. So, that's all what happened. I swear. A good run. I think I had 18 jobs, no problems. I was so proud. And then something went wrong, of course, and I'm like, okay, we have to start again. You know, we have to start over. We have to uh, be better than that 18 uh, jobs. And now, well, we're gonna start over next job again. Then, you know, this job is already ruined. I made a mistake. And uh, yeah, still, this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful job of course my, my drivers are already bringing in like 7000 extra so it's already over yeah it's already 23000 now so that's all good we can still enjoy it whoa, 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 whoa. that's loud this is from the fat rat a mix called Tino Genesis how do they come up with these names, man? But yeah, well, like I said, if I would be a truck driver, my first day would be so scared. I would sweat, I would be so nervous. On the other hand, of course, I would be very, very happy. Um, thinking about it, it would be my dream job, you know. But uh, yeah, this is the game, you know, and it, I think it's totally different. I mean, being a truck driver is not only driving. Uh, I'm not talking international, you know, I'm talking national. Uh, I don't want to go from America to England, let's say. Um, I'm, I've been a forklift driver, you know, for 19 years, so I've seen many, many truck drivers. And uh, it's not all a dream. If you, if you see them, if, if you talk to them, you know, uh, I've had one driver who was really really just so pushed by his boss that he was he would come you know and he was like you know I need to get this and this and I'm gonna get the coffee and you're gonna get it on and then I have to go to the next client and he was always like wah, wah, wah. and you know it's gonna take you a little toll of course and then you see other drivers who come you know nice and relaxed they're gonna come uh, uh, I worked uh, for 13 years in a little company so you know if you every every day you see the same drivers, you're gonna get to know them. So, you know, the, he was very relaxed. First he goes to my boss, a little talk, a little laugh, you know, you know how it goes. And then he would come to me and he said, uh, and he would say, you know, I'm gonna pick up this and this. Is it ready? And I said, yeah. And then he said, you know what? I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna eat something, drink something. Um, uh, I have the wood already, the belks, you know, the two by fours, the little two by fours. So you know where to put it. And I'm like, okay. You know, so I take the package, go outside. Okay, there he wants it. Bang, put it on. Everybody's happy. You know, and that, of course, to me, looks more relaxed. And he's going to have more fun in his job. But then I also hear uh, sometimes uh, with, uh, with other drivers that uh, they bring uh, a package of 40 plates. Uh, Okume plates to a customer. 
and they don't have a forklift, you know, so, you know, he was like, okay, um, how are you going to get it out, you know, I mean, it's uh, sealed, it's perfect to take out with a forklift, so, why not? And he says, yeah, well, we have to do it with hand, you know, one by one. And the driver looks at me. And he's, he's going like, oh, you expect me to help? You know? And the client says, yeah, because I'm alone, so, you know. And he's going like, oh. So, you know, it was a package of 40 plates, you know, and he has, he has to help the client, you know, get it in. Uh, they go in the truck, take one plate, go out the truck. And that 40 times you now looking at that uh, if that's the case for a truck driver where you really need to help uh, the client I'm, I'm not liking it very much you know uh, sorry to say but then I'm thinking like uh, you know is he gonna let me in? gonna see him. not really not really well now he's breaking you know that's the different side of uh, of a truck driver of course and uh, believe me, the truck driver was not happy when he told me. You know, he was like, man, I'm so happy you have a forklift. And I'm like, oh, what happened then? And he said, oh, you know, I had to help a client. And I can understand that, you know. Uh, on the other side, you sit all day, so maybe you're happy you can do something. I don't know. I'm not sure. And also, of course, you have to connect the wires... Uh, know uh, the wires of uh, the trailer to your truck so your blinkers work your air works your air brake I don't know all that important stuff and knowing myself I would probably uh, do it wrong or forget it one time yeah there you go excellent accident I had with a with a forklift oh my god it was so bad uh, we work um, from uh, 6.30 to uh, 4.30 but you know sometimes clients uh, come five minutes before we close and the rule is you know if a client comes in work time you have to help him so it was already like over you know and everybody everybody wanted to go home so client says yeah I need something but it was really high put away so uh, me and a colleague uh, we go look for it and he's like oh it's there and I'm like okay and so I get the forklift but for some re weird reason I leave the door open and I wanted to do it fast so uh, I get it you know and the doors open so I drive back but I forget the doors open and I drive against a pole there well uh, you know the door just I, it exploded, you know, and my colleague is looking at me like, what the fuck, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know, so we helped the client, and then it was a glass window, of course, but the door was broken, man, I just, wow, and you know, you need to go to your boss, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, so, you know, I go like, you know, do it, I'm sorry, but I fucked up, and he saw me sweating and being scared and he's like, dude, you know, it happened, man. It happens, uh, dude, no problem, you know, uh, did you clean it up and all the glasses away and can we fix it? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, 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 uh, I cleaned it and I'm not sure we can fix it because the bolts are, it's out of his uh, frame, you know. And he's like, yeah, no, it's okay, we'll look at it tomorrow. Don't be afraid, you know, it's, it's not like we all had it, you know. And I'm like, oh my God, thank you, man. And the next day he says, you know, don't be scared, man. I flipped trucks over, you know. And I'm like, what? He says, yeah, you know, and sometimes um, it happens, you know. Accidents happen and uh, you're not going to get fired, man. Don't be scared for that. We're not going to fire you for one mistake. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, you know, then you get stories of other people like, oh, no, like my boss said, he flipped one over even. And another guy said, well, you know, uh, we were racing with trucks and I hit a wall, so... You know, it happens, and I'm like, ah, oh, thank you guys, you know, funny stuff. But I hate it if I have an accident on work, you know, I just hate it. 
does it make my day any better. I also had a, a little problem with a client, you know, he wanted a, a Euro pellet with a big bag of sand on it and he wants it in, into his big fan. Now normally, uh, between the wheelbase, you know, I know that a pellet can fit. It's tight, but it can fit. But I, I took uh, the big, uh, the I totally forget uh, the big bag on the, the forks, and I already see that because it was standing there quite a while that it leaned to the left. So I drive it to the back of his van, and I say, "Dude, it's not gonna fit." And he says, "Why?" And I'm like, "Well, you know, it's leaning a little bit." So he says to me, he's looking around a little bit, and I'm waiting. And he, he's going like, can you go a little bit more to the right? And I'm thinking, well, actually no, but if you want me to, so I, so, so I say, yeah, sure. So he's standing to the left of me, right, looking into the, to the van. And I uh, go a little bit to the right, I look at him, and I ask him, do you really want to do this? And he says, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I start pushing, of course. And yeah, it goes in. So, you know, uh, he comes over to look, and I crossed uh, the, uh, the wheelbase from inside, you know, and he's like, what the hell, it's all your fault, and I'm like, my fault, I ask you, do you want to continue, you know, and he says, yeah, but you have to look at the right, and I'm like, I have to look at the right if there's space enough, I'm in a forklift, what the hell, you know, and he wanted to make a big thing of it. You know, and he says, well, you know, we, I'll finish up here, but we're going to go inside and ask about the insurance and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, but it's not my fault. It's very easy. So, of course, he, uh, he went to a colleague of mine, and my boss is sitting uh, behind us. And he's going to, uh, to a colleague of mine, and, uh, and, he, uh, and he says, well, we have to talk about insurance because your, uh, your forklift driver... Uh, made an accident and he fucked up and I'm sad I made an accident no dude this is not my fault I ask you do you want to continue and you say yes so he goes yeah but you have to look at the right and my boss hears this of course so he comes up and he says what's wrong and uh, the client tells his version and he's like yeah yeah we're gonna fix it don't worry and he takes me away and he says okay what's your version and I'm like yeah I asked him I always ask if I think it's not going to fit, I ask the client, and if he, uh, if he says yes, then I'm going to do it. But then, if, he, if it goes wrong, don't come to me, right? Income, 5,300 million. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. You know, so, he's like, yeah, 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 you know. Um, so he talks more to the client, I, I can go. The next day, you know, when uh, we start work, he takes me, uh, he asks me, office and he's uh, like dude we're never gonna fight with a client about who's wrong all right if there's an accident just say okay we'll go inside and settle this it's not about who's right or wrong you know we're gonna pay it it's, it's okay and I'm like oh okay well I don't like it if somebody accuses me of something and I did did not do anything he's like dude like I said, you don't, you're never going to argue with a client. You know, we want a client, so what? What? It's it's not about who's right or wrong. It has to get paid. It has to get fixed, and the client needs to be coming back. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Did not like it, of course, because you know. But yeah, it's uh, it's about that. You know, just keep quiet. The company will pay. Don't say anything. Just admit you're wrong, you know, while I, I still think I was not wrong. I asked the client, and, if he, and he says, you know, I'm looking at the left, you have to look at the right. How can I look at the right? I'm in the forklift, I don't see that side. Is he expecting me to get out every two seconds to see if it's going to be okay? No, that's his job. I already told him it's not going to fit, but he's like, yeah, I have to take it, you know, uh, they want it. And I'm like, okay. I'm not gonna argue with, with you then if you say it's okay. Ooh, okay, here's in my blind uh, spot. That's really weird. Okay. So yeah, that happened.
never saw that client again, by the way, but okay. <laughs> Funny. I'm going to the left for the last 280 kilometers. I do need to sleep, of course, now. Let's take a looky. I will be there in four hours. Oh, no, I can fix it, no problem. Wow, did they change the AI? Because normally they wait, but now they're going. That's good, man. They, I think they fixed that. I think that's really, really good. Because normally, you know, when uh, I'm, in, I'm in the lane from the left and there's AI in front of me, and on the other side, you know, they wanted to go to the left also, they're, they're waiting, you know, like, okay, I have green, but I'm afraid to go. And now it seems they fixed that and they go, so kudos to SES for that. I like it. Going up the ramp and on to the freeway. Let's see, I'm gonna take it easy here. Yeah, I have, I have no room at all. Oh, that camper maybe? Oh no, there's a car though. Thank you, dude. A little bit late, but thank you for braking. I'm on. That was a nice guy. I like him. I like him. I like him. So my drivers brought in five thousand. I forget and something. Three thousand. At least it's a 20,000 euro job, I'm sure about that. <laughs> we'll go back to 64, 56, 40. I know. Pop. Uh, so, oh no, it's 89 again. Let's go. I believe you. It will not uh, drop back suddenly to 48 and then everybody here gets a ticket. That's a little bit of a history about my career, <laughs> my work. Duh, duh, duh. And of course, uh, in soccer wise, today is the championship game uh, here in Holland, in, in the Dutch. Uh, Ajax can be a champion if they win. Uh, PSV has the same amount of points, but we are ahead in, uh, in goals, so if we win, it should be a okay. Uh, we are, I think, four goals ahead uh, PSV, or even more, so if, uh, if we win, uh, they need to win with six goals difference, you know, but if we win with 1-0, um, you know, they have to make five goals. Champion, if we win with two goals, they need to win with six. If we say make three goals, they need to win with seven. So it's looking good, but ooh, you know, it's a little bit dangerous to already say, like, yeah, Ajax, Ajax is going to be a champion, but they do have the best uh, papers. So we have to wait and see until seven o'clock in the evening. Because I cannot watch it live. Uh, I don't have. Uh, I don't pay for that. So. I'm gonna see it, uh, of course. Uh, the review. Are you gonna wait? Are you gonna wait? He's gonna wait. Income 3800. Madison again. Thank you, girl. This is now a 31,000. Good job. Lights on. Don't be weird. Nice. I can take a right. The sun is in my eyes. I don't like it. Wow. Where are my sunglasses? My ray bands. Ray, where are you? 
go, go turn and go turn, and the sun is out of my eyes. I'm gonna be happy with that, of course. And oops, I'm speeding. Let's not do that. 89, I'm doing 94. That's, yeah, could be a ticket. Here we go. On farmer's land, we are delivering this trailer at, yeah, there's no farms. It's a farm. Callum, what's a Callum? Is it Cadian? Oh. Yeah, it's Cadian. I know I'm getting tired, but it's gonna be okay. Uh, yeah, I have one hour and fifty-two minutes. Calum. Who cares? You know, it's, I'm not. A, I don't have to work with it. So here we are, under 100 kilometers. Let's take a little view outside. Beautiful white and white combination. Yeah, too bad that there's no red in the trailer. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I'm going a little bit too fast for that. Let's not do that again. Let's go a little bit slower the next time.
job, so but it's a good job. No damage to the trailer, that's the most important thing. Here we go, 793 kilometers, nice XP. Getting very close to the next level again. Well guys, I do need to sleep now. So but not a good job of course, so uh, we'll start uh, our uh, streak of no accidents, no speeding tickets, no traf uh, 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 traffic lights tickets, you know, none of that. We're gonna start it in the next job. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, and remember guys, burn rubber, not your souls, keep trucking, bad boys for life, high five. <laughs>